This I struggle oh. to believe. Look closely here. The wet monsoon also bringing out creatures never seen before by park rangers. These are three eyed shrimp. They're prehistoric and they have biologists across the country talking right now. Brianna Whitney is here in the studio tonight with the story that I first thought was a joke and then <laughs> have been obsessed with ever since you guys were talking about it this afternoon. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, these, they're weird looking. Oh I know. <laughs> really, this whole entire situation is wild. Here's the thing. It started out hundreds of years ago when thousands of these three-eyed shrimp eggs were laid, but they stayed dormant. Well, fast forward to 2021, tourists near Sunset Crater outside Flagstaff find these creatures it's an Arizona rarity you cannot make up. Things you expect to see in Arizona, cacti and rocks. Things you don't expect to see in Arizona, <laughs> three-eyed shrimp. They are ancestors of similar looking creatures that date to before the dinosaurs. Marge Ullman with the National Park Services says it all started when tourists were checking out the ball court at the Wupatki National Monument, a basin created about 900 years ago by the Pueblo people. The tourists thought they saw tadpoles, but they weren't tadpoles. And it was actually these little prehistoric looking triops. Triops, which means three eyes in Greek, are creatures that existed before dinosaurs. Ullman says park rangers working at the National Monument now have never seen this. But because the ball court got so much rain, it was enough water to settle there for a week and hatch these eggs from underground, laid there long, long ago. Definitely decades, maybe centuries. This is such an unusual year. I mean, the whole this whole monsoon season. And Ullman says the eggs are one of a kind. Not only can they live through extreme temperatures and drought, but if something comes along and eats them, they can survive the digestive system and get spread out in different places. The bizarre site is one Ullman hopes they get to see again, but suspects hundreds more eggs were laid this summer, which could hatch after the year 3000. Well, that's not a story I expected to cover this year, <laughs> um, but but it's crazy. OK, so those eggs, they can be dormant for decades, centuries, like she said, but the shrimp actually don't live that long once they're hatched. They only last about 90 days, so they have been dying off at the monument. What? <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I, and I don't know. What I mean, to tell what you. if somebody wanted to go like check these out or where else can you find them? Can you buy them like okay. we're talking about that? <laughs> we, yeah, so there's different kinds. Yeah. You know, when you were a kid, you might buy like sea monkeys. Yes. Okay, I yeah, did yeah, that yeah. too. Yeah. So you can buy these to grow the triops, but there are different species of triops than the ones that were found at the monument. This, Those are like a natural species. I just keep picturing that episode of The Simpsons where that yellow fish <laughs> jumped out of the water saying. with three eyes near the <laughs> nuclear power plant. That's but it's, what it it's looks not like. nuclear power. This is uh, prehistoric before the dinosaurs. Yeah, which is I crazy. keep staring at that photo behind you. That's creepy oh, on the wall. We've, we've moved it now. Very yeah. creepy. Um, but yeah. That tail. Unbelievable. Is, I don't know how I feel about the tail. And it was tourists who first spotted it. Yeah, yeah. Like, and they thought tadpoles because around? they, you know, right. that. Okay, 